Hello everyone. Let's take a look at a justification for the centroid theorem. First, just to review, the centroid is the intersection of the medians of a triangle. A median is the segment that goes from the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So here I've drawn a triangle and let's label this triangle ABC. And a median goes from one of the ver vertices of this triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. So if we find the midpoint, since it's the midpoint, we know that it splits it directly into two congruent segments. And let's call this midpoint point M. And if I connect those together, so from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side, this is one of the medians of the triangle. We can do the same for our other two vertices. So we'll find the midpoint of this side here. That splits that into two congruent parts. And the same for our last side, midpoint, two congruent segments here. And then if I connect those together, we get our other two medians. And the three medians of a triangle are concurrent, meaning they all intersect at the same point. And their common point of intersection here in the middle, let's call that point P, P is the centroid. Okay, now, couple neat things about the centroid. One, the centroid is also called the center of balance. So if you were to take this triangle and cut it out, you would be able to balance it on point P right on the tip of your pen. Another neat thing about the, tri uh, the centroid, which we are going to need for our justification for this theorem, is that when we draw in these medians, our original triangle gets split up into six triangles here. Now they're not necessarily congruent triangles. You know, some they look pretty different from each other, but they all have the same area, and that's going to be important for helping justify this theorem. So the centroid theorem, what it says is that the centroid is two thirds the distance from the vertex to the opposite side. So this is two thirds of the way, and then this segment here, this is the last one third. So one way we could think about that is I could say that AP, so the length from A to the centroid, that is two thirds of the entire median AM. Or because this represents two thirds of the distance, and this represents one third, I know that AP is twice as long as PM. So AP is two times the length of PM. And then this is what we're going to show. So in order to do that, as I said, we are going to use the area of these triangles. And this argument will work for any of the centroids so just depending on which one we want to focus on. But for this, I'm just going to take a look at triangle ABM. And let me just redraw that. So I'm going to take this triangle and I want AM to be the base. So here's A, our centroid is P, and then we have M, and then our third point up here, this is B. And then we do have one other point in there. Halfway here, we have L, which is the midpoint of AB. Okay, so this triangle is the same as this one we have over here. Now we want to show that AP is twice as long as PM. 
so one of the pieces I mentioned was that these these triangles they all have the same area so the area of this triangle here um, BP BPM triangle BPL and triangle LAP they all have the same area maybe let's call that area X so these all have area X okay <clears throat> now um, let me just jot that down so the area of triangle BPM is equal to X and the same for the other two triangles but I am actually going to take a look at these two triangles together so the area of triangle BAP I actually have two of those and it's 2x okay now if I look at these two triangles so we have let me highlight one here so we got triangle BPM so it's this triangle there and then we have our other triangle the bigger one BPA now these two triangles they have similar bases here um, parts of the whole AM but the other piece they have in common is they do have the same height. So if I drop in this altitude, BPA, this triangle, it is obtuse, so that height is on the outside of the triangle. But then for BPM, that altitude is right down the middle. So they have the same height for both of these. So in general, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So for my first triangle, my smaller one, BPM, so area triangle BPM, that's going to be equal to one half. The base of that triangle is PM, and then the height, the altitude there, I said was H. And for the second triangle, <coughs> so the bigger one, BAP, That's going to be one half. The base of this is AP, and the height is the same. Okay. Now, we know that this has an area of X, and this has an area of 2X. So this area is twice as big as our smaller area up here. So to set these equal to each other, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that okay, the area of triangle BAP is twice the area of triangle BPM. So that means one half segment AP times the height is equal to two times this area right here. So now we can do a little simplifying. Okay, um, two times one half. That's going to simplify to one. And then we do have an H on both sides. So if I divide both sides by H, that will simplify. And what I'm left with is one half AP is equal to PM, which we could rewrite. Multiplying both sides by 2, AP is equal to 2 times PM, which is what we wanted. So what we showed was that the length of AP is twice as long as the length of PM. So in other words, the centroid is two-thirds of the distance from the vertex to the opposite side.